Hello, my name is Mary and I'm a student physical therapist and today we're going to be talking about increasing knee flexion. This is Ariana and she's going to be my patient. So first we're going to be talking about the agonist muscles that actually help the motion. So go ahead and face the wall for me. So those muscles are the biceps femoris, the semitendinosus, and then the semimembranosus, which all together are called the hamstring muscles. Now the antagonist muscles are actually the quadriceps muscle. So that includes the rectus femoris muscle and all three vastus. So medialis, intermedius, right under the rectus femoris, and then vastus lateralis. For knee flexion, passive range of motion, the patient is in prone. Remind the patient you will be doing all of the movement. Also ensure that the patient is close to you so you can maintain proper body mechanics throughout the technique. With both hands, grasp just above the ankle and begin passively moving into knee flexion. Make sure to move your whole body by weight shifting in the legs. Move the leg through pain-free range of motion to the point of resistance. To increase knee flexion, do a posterior glide of the tibia on femur. The patient position is supine with the hip and knee flexed. You can stabilize the foot by sitting on it, but make sure to let the patient know first. Grab the tibia while keeping the elbows extended and use your body weight to lean while pushing the tibia posteriorly. This is the oscillatory method. You can do oscillations for two minutes, bouts of 30 seconds, and then rest for three to four cycles. The grade is dependent on the patient need. Grades one or two for pain, or three or four are done for stiffness. One muscle that would restrict knee flexion is the rectus femoris muscle. In order to stretch this muscle, have the patient be in a prone position. Place a towel under the thigh to add the hip component of the rectus femoris muscle. For a proper stretch, stabilization is key. So place your forearm on the posterior pelvis to prevent anterior tilting. Use the other arm to grab just above the ankle and stretch into knee flexion. You want to hold the stretch for 30 to 60 seconds. Educate the patient on how to do the stretch at home. They can be in the same position with the towel under the thigh. They can utilize a strap, a belt, or even a towel placed around the ankle. Remind the patient to hold the stretch while keeping the lumbar spine and pelvis in a neutral position. Also, educate the patient on the principles of frequency, intensity, time, and type of stretch. According to ACSM guidelines, the frequency of the stretch should be two to three times a week, but daily being most effective. For intensity, the stretch should be to the point of tightness, but no pain. For time, the stretch should be held for 30 to 60 seconds, and for type, a dynamic stretch is good for warm-up or pre-event, but a static stretch is better for habitual stretching program. Exercise for knee flexion is to strengthen the hamstring muscles by doing a TheraBand leg curl. Have the patient seated on the table and wrap the TheraBand around the ankle. Ensure you are holding the TheraBand at a perpendicular angle and prompt the patient to bend the knee as far as they can. Provide the patient with the proper color TheraBand to take home and educate them how to do this exercise at home. The patient can anchor the band to the door by doing a knot on one end of the band and a loop on the other end where the patient can place their foot. Have the patient stand up straight facing the anchor point, then have them bend the knee to about 90 degrees. If needed, they can hold on to a chair for stability. 
The fit principles for strengthening exercises is 8 to 12 repetitions for 2 to 4 sets, with 2 to 3 minutes rest in between for 2 to 3 times a week. The type of strengthening is with a resistant band and the intensity is 60 to 70% of the one rep max.